Brought to you by Uno, a brand committed with the future. The main reason that I took on mental health so strongly this month and I cleared out my calendar for it was because I know that there is something happening between the students and the art. Raquel Rodriguez is a Belizean artist who established a school in the peak of adversity in 2020. When the world was at a standstill, she found an outlet where people could creatively release. Painting would be a refuge for children and adults. Now, persons who join her art school learn the fundamentals of drawing and painting, but the core of the undertaking is centered on social awareness and giving back to the community through art. We do the fundamentals of art. We do the marketing so they understand how to label themselves, label their art, and sell the art. And then we also do um, community work. The students come to me for school and they are told as soon as they start the school that I tell the parents. When you start Raquel Art, you're not just starting a school, but we are also a movement. We are a foundation. We are community effort. So we're also going to be out there doing something for the community. The movement, as Rodriguez describes it, has contributed to community service in many ways. Partnerships with the private sector and government have resulted in communities being beautified with messages of social awareness. This month, the theme is combating mental health through art. There is a moment, maybe it's five minutes, maybe it's ten minutes, maybe it's a few seconds, that you really do see inside of a child and you see that there are issues there. A scene where they are depressed or they're going through issues, um, it could be... Um, Anything, you know, from school work being a burden to um, puberty and you're, you're thinking about boys or, um, you know, dad's not around or um, we were just discussing about um, um, single moms, you know, so how does that affect a child? Carrie Wade is a psychologist. She has also connected the dots between art and mindfulness. Art because there's lots of different ways to address mental health issues, right? So a lot of times we do talk therapy. That's a traditional sit down, tell somebody your issues, and they help you put it in brackets that you can then make decisions that are healthy. But a lot of times we can't find the words. So art therapy has been around for a while. Raquel doesn't do art therapy. Raquel just does art. But art in itself is so therapeutic that even though it's not meant to be a therapy you're sitting there and you're becoming mindful mindfulness is a very big technique used in mental health treatment art has really helped me it's been a part of my life ever since and especially recently when my grandma passed away it helped me process my emotions because my grandma was someone I would go to and talk to about my emotions how what I'm feeling and it was just very helpful, especially when I started to paint. I paint what I was feeling. So mental health and art really connect. And a lot of times I was like, but I don't know therapy. I'm like, yeah, you don't. But just by virtue of letting a child make mistakes, that's a huge form of mental health support because most times we're like, no, you can't get that wrong. The beauty of art essentially connects mindfulness with creativity, but it's the final image on canvas the product of our thoughts and emotions that is truly rewarding. For Raquel, picking up a paintbrush can be the gateway to a whole new world that helps us escape from our mental challenges. We see a lot of benefits of art and that's why we really did want to shine for mental health because maybe there's that one kid out there and he's watching the news tonight or he's watching it on Facebook Maybe he's a youth, maybe he's 24 years old, and he's thinking, I'm so stressed, I'm so depressed. Let me just pick up a paintbrush like what she said on the news this morning, and I'll do that, and maybe it helps. Looking on the bright side, I'm Sabrina Daly.